Good day guys. Welcome to the new channel. In today's tutorial, I'll be showing you guys how to create this movie poster design from scratch. Though it's a little bit complicated, but I believe you guys can achieve it as well. So this is just a fictional movie poster. So let me let me show you the size then from there we'll start our work. So this is the size. The size is two by three. Let me exceed that pixel lab then come back again. So first thing, we enter the, the size of our flyer, which is two by three. So let's delete this our default background. So the first thing, the first thing we'll be doing today is to import our background. And if you need any of this background, check the description of this video. I've, I've dropped a link that will give you access to all the material that you need. So let me bring in our background. Let me just bring in our background. So this is the first background. So the next thing you do now you drag it to the left. Let it let the background fill this and this in. Fill the canvas. That is the spaces that you're seeing. Then change the background. Let's change the background to white so that we can see the end part of our background. Second thing is to lock it. And the next thing we're going to okay, let's import the original design so that we can as well check some things from there so that we will not leave anything aside. So this is the original design. So let me just keep it aside. Then from here we can check in. The first thing we the first thing we did here was to bring in our our image. So let me bring in my image. Whereas I've already removed the background of my image, on I use another app to remove the background. So if you don't know how to remove the background from your image, you can check my you can check my video list. I've done a video on that on how to remove background from your image. Let's just go straight to our image. So I'm going to import the last image. So let me hide them, then arrange them properly. So this is the first one. So I'll reduce, I'll crop, I'll just crop past the parts that I don't need and drop the parts that I need. So I will centralize them, centralize this one first, since that's the middle one. Then this other part, I also do the same thing to this part. And I also centralize, and I'll reduce the size. Then I'll come to my eraser. I'll erase. I'll erase one side of the image from the shoulder. From the shoulder, I'll erase it. All I need is just the head. Then I'll bring it to the back. Bring it to the back of this guy. I hope, I hope you're, I hope you're following what I'm doing. 
anywhere anywhere you missed anywhere you, you missed along the line just post the video go back again and watch it again so this other guy also do also do the same thing on this other guy i'll crop past the parts that i don't need reduce the size a little more. then bring it to the back bring it to the back then what i will do now go to i went to eraser i erase the parts sorry i also erase the parts that i don't need the only thing i need is just the head that's all okay are you seeing so let me just do the important part of it so let's check the next thing i don't want this video to be lengthy let us check the next thing so okay so there's a there's a background here that i have already faded this is the background i have already faded this background so what i did i just dragged the background and drop it on the design centralize it let me bring let me bring our main design let me see how that was directed uh, okay then there's another background so this thing is, is a little bit complicated but we'll achieve it by his grace okay so i brought in this background also this background also i also is a background i faded also don't be scared all this background will be available in that link once you follow the link you get access to all the background i was using this video so let me bring this image up a little bit please uh, just i'm sorry for the noise please just pardon i'm sorry my apologies for the noise so this is it so the next thing let's see was what was remaining again okay the building so i downloaded them um, this thing what is it called sky um i downloaded a building so this is the building so what i did was i dropped the building here and i reduced the opacity so it will blend in to just fit in i duplicated the building again that's copy and i also drop one of the building here to make it more real then let me check the next step again so I went to my Pinterest, I downloaded a vehicle, a vehicle set at blaze or a vehicle on fire. Mentioning is just we need a vehicle that is casting fire. So I reduce the size and I drop it here. I you see that we are giving the design gradually. And then you know something like this along the line, there are always on this thing, what is it called? There are always some drums and tanker along the line. Let me check again. So I downloaded and I went to this thing. Sorry. There's a drum. Let me see a tank there. There's a tank there that looks bones. So I reduce the size of the tank and I drop the tank at the back of the vehicle. I drop the tank at the back of the vehicle. Now if you want to take this tank back or just show the long press and then drag it down to it will automatically go back of the vehicle. Then I drop it here. I love it. Let me see. It was a menu. Okay. I 
think we are almost rounding off on this design so now if you leave this design like this now let me let me tell you something if you leave this space like this now it will not give you what you need it will not look real and it will be it will be too sharp so what i did was i went to shape then i click gradients tap on my plus sign this is the default background that the background you will see so this side now i made that side to be black then make it to be transparent then um, i drag it out a little bit make this other side to be black then change the color to pure black now just look at what i want to do now then i drag it now leave it let me drop it at red so that you see what i'm doing then i brought it to the damp part of it then i change it to the i change it change the entire distance to the black then i brought it up a little bit are you seeing that that piece is not looking more thin so let me check the original design what we've not done So the next thing I did was I entered the name which is Speed. Don't forget this is just a fictional movie, uh, movie poster. So I just entered this. I entered the name Speed. Then I dragged. I increased the size as usual. Then I went to my fonts. I'll just pick any font for the sake of this tutorial. Although I can't, I can't remember the font I use again. But let me just pick any font. That font is not key. Let me just use this font for the sake of this tutorial. So in a, a situation like this, where you have this type of fonts that look spacey, what you do is go to your space then space it backward to bring the distance together you can space it as for this time just make space it backward like this space it backward then you reduce the size you can also space it backward again now let me just choose a font that is a little bit lengthy Then if you want to learn how to download fonts like your personal font like all these fonts you're seeing these are fonts that I downloaded you can also check my video tutorial check my video list I've done video on that then went to your paddle your paddle nice to bring out the edges of your fonts then I centralize it then I brought it down then I entered the words I add my preferred color which is the white right. then I lock it then I copy then I enter the last this thing which is ride or die ride or die then I I choose a font that is more lower than that one that's where her, I, I, this thing comes in hierarchy now the first thing I want people to see is the name before they see the other side. I lock it. Then at the top here, this is where you put the name of the, the name of the actors or the actress that asked the movie. Then this other damn part now. Is where you can put the description of the movie, what the movie is talking about, and the rest. You can put your this in here when the movie is coming out. So, guys, this is how I achieve that movie poster. So, please kindly subscribe, share this video with your friends, and thank you for watching. See you guys in my next tutorial.